because you could have different people thinking their ideas are good, but you know, the team is like, what a ridiculous idea, how on earth could you think about that? But no one really wants to own up and say, that's a dumb idea. Lots of project managers still don't practice risk management because they're like, oh, I don't want to go over the top on my project. So they're diverging into four different activities. Language was a huge barrier, even though they were very technically capable but the language barrier just got in the way. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take the early finish of activity A, and that is gonna become the early start of all of its successor activities. Now, I worked in an organization that was so into IM, it became so annoying, you could be tracked down at any time, and you just have the little IM pop up, are you available for a meeting? And mind you, they can actually see your outlook, so it became even more frustrating. You couldn't hide, couldn't get any work done, the little IM will just pop up, would you like to attend a meeting now? No, I don't think so. We need to find out why that happened. Maybe Bob fell asleep at 10.54, which is when those widgets were produced and he, his head banged against a particular lever. But you told someone I have a PMI certification, I'm CAPM certified. It gives you credibility, but with that credibility should also come that ethical expectation. Those expectations that, oh, high code of ethics and, and so on.